Turns out there was, and there is. You see, Jesus didn't stay dead. No, He whooped up on old death and rose again on the third day. In doing so, He proved that He is God and that He can give new life to everyone who believes in Him. Doesn't matter where you've been or what you've done. See, when you bow the knee to Jesus and make Him Lord, He makes you a brand spanking new creation. This here young cowboy found exactly what it's like. It's like you're finally whole inside. Like you're clean and forgiven. Like at long last, you can rest. Of course, the story doesn't end there. Because now this young mountain man was forgiven, he had work to do. He had to get his house in order. He had to learn to trust in the good Lord's provisions. He had to replenish his strength. And he had to replace those shabby, smelly rags he had been calling clothes. Ah, but that was a wonderful time. Just him, the Lord, and that green, peaceful valley. And he wouldn't have been more happy than to live out the remainder of his days right there. In fact, he even named the place you guessed it, Cowboy's Rest. There was just one problem with this little plan. The Lord said no. See, that young man had been reading about the Apostle Paul, how to, he had been a sinner, a murderer, until he had met Jesus. And he read how Jesus didn't let Paul just sit around after saving him. No, he sent him out as his witness even to the remotest part of the earth, as the good book says. Well, that young fella started to contemplate those parts of his own world, those frontiers where the name Jesus wasn't much more than a cuss word. And he started thinking about all them folks who didn't know Christ yet, who didn't have this brand new life, who hadn't found this rest. And the more he thought about them, and the more he prayed, the more he knew what he had to do.
So one morning, bright and early, he got up and said, Adios to that little place of rest. And he had been mighty comfortable there, and he hoped someday he had returned. But he couldn't just sit back and keep the good news he had found to himself, because it wasn't only meant for him. It was for everyone on the planet, and he was going to tell them. So that's exactly what he did. He traveled for years spreading the good news. He climbed the highest mountain passes. He forded the most treacherous river. And he crossed the driest of deserts. all to find folks who didn't know the Lord. And find him he did. Well, some of them listened and believed. Many of them thought he was plum crazy. And a few of them reacted somewhat violently. But even when it hurt to follow Jesus, the good Lord sent folks to encourage this mountain man. And he was reminded of how gracious God is and of how much he has forgiven us. So this young missionary went right on sharing the good news, even with faced with opposition. You see, the thing was, the peace he had found in the valley, the rest he had experienced, it never left him. It didn't come from a place, didn't come from a particular location. It came from the Prince of Peace, and he was with him wherever he went. Yes, sir, Jesus meant it when he offered us rest for our weary souls, and that young mountaineer learned a valuable lesson over the years. He came to understand that a cowboy's true rest can only be found by following the Lord, whenever and wherever he leads. Some say the old mountain man is still out there, pioneering some new trail, looking for any soul who will listen to the good news along the way. <laughs> some said he's had a wild adventure to along the way, but it looks like you boys' eyelids are getting heavy, and I think it's time for y'all to turn in, and I think it's time for me to hit the trail. Wait, the trail? Where are you going, mister? Why, son, haven't you been listening? I've done what I came here to do. And now, it's out there and it's calling. What? What's calling? The Frontier. Won't you come along? <laughs>